welcome back to school of civil engineering this is Atullah with another new video and uh, if you hear then you know that we have started a CSSF 2016 tutorial series and in our previous lecture I have just shown you that how we we'll draw a eccentric column foundation okay so we have draw that in our previous lecture so if you're new here you can watch that that how we have draw it and in this lecture I'll just show that how we'll apply load on it so before starting that I'm just requesting you if you're a civil engineer and if you're new to our channel then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so first of all to apply load just simply click on uh, that point okay sorry control Z actually press control Z I have forget to remove our previous comment so from here simply click that point before this uh, just select object click here select object now uh, select that point okay and now go here assign then uh, load data then point load and from here I will just give live load here I'll give live load 100 keeps okay so consider that our load is 100 keeps and our moment in mx suppose it's 24 and 32 uh, 32 i'm just considering that load actually and from here obviously you have to give the size of load for punching share so here actually i'm just going first and the one f uh, sorry 12 inch into 12 inch and if you are following my previous lecture then you know about everything so I'll just press ok now we have uh, defined a load it's a uh, live load now I'll just go here again I'll just select that point and here I can uh, assign load on it but I will do not apply the dead load because uh, I'll consider that I have only one load a single load coming from our structure okay actually you will uh, get a single load with the most critical combination for most crit critical combination of your uh, foundation uh, for of your building structure okay and uh, you have to give it the maximum the load data for your that foundation value just cancel now a uh, load combination uh, load providing load is okay now I'll just select that option our that foundation and I'll go assign and go for uh, support data soil properties and from here I'll select soil BC for isolated foundation soil bearing capacity then okay actually I have defined everything in previous I have defined everything in previous and I'll just request to please watch our previous lecture then okay just see here our, uh, we have defined our foundation perfectly now as it's okay now we'll go for our analysis so just click here so just see here our analysis is okay and now it's giving us the deflection for dead load I mean uh, only for its self weight now I'll go here display deform shape for load combo different types of load combo okay so apply so for that if I take mouse it's showing our maximum deflection or settlement is less than one inch okay so again I'll just go here for load combo 2 it's showing us 0 0.69 and in that side it's showing us uh, 0 0.30 again I'll just go here for ultimate one it's showing us almost 0 0.1 everywhere and here you will see the maximum settlement or deflection so for ultimate two I'll just click here now see here our foundation is 
our foundation is okay for our deflection or settlement okay now I'll just close that and I'll go display soil pressure reaction so from here I'll also go for different types of load combination and from here soil pressure then click apply so here our soil pressure it's showing the maximum soil pressure 138.138 okay and it's 138 psi and here it's gives showing us 490 pound okay so it's also okay I'll go for ultimate 2 and it's showing us it's more than actually no, it's showing us the more than 21 I mean 2000 PSA and in that set it's showing us 843 PSA actually uh, we have considered that we have considered for a design process that our that set uh, settlement I mean our soil pressure or our bearing capacity that shouldn't be more than shouldn't be more than 2000 PSI okay so here it's it's showing us in that side our maximum settlement is more than 2000 PSI right showing us more than two and here it's showing the maximum soil pressure at that point under our column is stiff now I'll just close that and I'll go for check our column is stiff punching shear check but it's it's just showing us our uh, punching shear check for show here it's showing the punching shear check is 1.0129 okay 1.0129 so our uh, that value is not okay because we know that our that value should be less than 1 okay so I'll just modify that for that simply click here then click ok then right click on it and from here for column footing isolated column footing I'll just select here and sim simply click here and modify that and from here I'll just give here 1 6 uh, on it 18 18 is our uh, foundation thickness okay then click ok then ok then ok now right click on it for our column stiff okay from here select column stiff then column stiff go modify it and give her on it 18 and okay okay and okay so we have uh, modified that actually I'm just uh, going first because everything I have discussed several times in our previous lecture now just see here again uh, I'll go here for our punching shirt check by clicking here now see that actually our punching value is very less 0 0.4091 0 0.4091 only so I think uh, we should decrease our column thickness a uh, foundation thickness okay we should decrease it because uh, uh, then it will be very economical because our uh, we are saying that our punching value is 0 0.4 actually we can take our punching value to 0 0.9 till till 0 0.9 so if we decrease our that uh, thickness then our foundation will be very economical okay so um, it's done actually so in our in our next video i'll just show that as our foundation is okay and in our next video i'll show that how we'll design ex design it uh, actually the design process is same that i have shown in my previous every lecture you can watch from there or you can wait for the next video so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video